Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. It is good to know that people are still finding this channel and subscribing to it. Please be sure to tell your friends as well, since everything that is done for the Daily Vision Bible is automatically released into the public domain. I make no money by doing this, even though it has cost me a lot to produce. However, I produce this program as my service to God, and it is a wonderful opportunity to dwell in His Word. It is Joshua chapter 9 today. Let's open God's Word of Prayer. Lord, I ask as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask as people hear your word, to come to my understanding of you. Amen. When all the kings who were beyond the Jordan in the hill country, and in the lowland, and on the shore of the great sea in front of Lebanon, the Attite, the Amorite, the Canaanite, the Perseite, the Levite, and the Jezbezite, heard of it, they gathered themselves together to fight with Joshua, and with Israel, united against Israel. But when the inhabitants of Gibeon, Heard what Joshua had done to Jericho and to Ai, they also resorted to a ruse, and went and made as if they had been ambassadors, and took old sacks on their donkeys, and old torn up and bound up wineskins, and old and patched shoes on their feet, and wore old garments. All the bread of their food supply was dry and mouldy. They went to Joshua to camp at Gagal, and said to him, and to the men of Israel, We have come far for our country, now therefore make a covenant with us. The men of Israel said to the Levites, What if you live among us? How could we make a covenant with you? They said to Joshua, We are your servants. Joshua said to them, Who are you? Where do you come from? They said to him, Your servants have come from a very far country, because of the name of Yahweh your God. For we have heard of his fame, all that he did in Egypt, and all that he did to the two kings of the Amorites, who were beyond the Jordan, to Sion, king of Hesbron, and to Og, king of Bashan, who was at Asaroth. Our elders, and all the inhabitants of our country, spoke to us, saying, Take supplies in your hand for the journey, and go to meet them. Tell them, We are your servants, now make a covenant with us. This, our bread, we took hot for our supplies out of our houses on the day we went out to go to you. But now look, it is dry, and the has become mouldy. These wineskins, which we filled, were new. And look, they are torn. These are garments, and our shoes are become old, because of the very long journey. The men sampled their provisions, and didn't ask counsel from Yahweh's mouth. Joshua made peace with them, and made a covenant with them to let them live. The princes of the congregation swore to them. At the end of three days, after they had made a covenant with them, they heard that they were their neighbours, and that they lived among them. The children of Israel travelled and came to their cities on the third day. Now their cities were Gibeon, Shirath, Beroth, and Kerath Jaim. The children of Israel didn't strike them, because the princes of the congregation had sworn to them by Yahweh the God of Israel. All the congregation murmured against the princes. But all the princes said to all the congregation, We are sworn to them by Yahweh, the God of Israel, and therefore we may not touch them. We will do this to them, and let them live. Least wrath be upon us, because of the oath which we swore to them. The princess said to them, Let them live, so they may become wood cutters and draws of water for the congregation, as the princess had spoken to them. Joshua called for them, and he spoke to them, saying, Why have you deceived us, saying we are very far from you, when you live among us? Now therefore you are cursed, and some of you will never fail to be slaves, both woodcutters and drawers of water for the houses of my God. The answer Joshua and said, Because your servants were certainly told how Yahweh your God commanded his servant Moses to give you all the land, and to destroy all the inhabitants of the land from before you. Therefore we were very afraid for our lives, because of you, and have done this thing. Now look, Yahweh in your hand. Do to us as it seems good and right to you to do. He did so to them and delivered them out of the hand of the children of Israel, so that they didn't kill them. That day Joshua made them woodcutters, and drawers of water for the congregation, and for Yahweh's altar to this day, in the place which he should choose.